So do you want to do you want to cut the whole thing? In Shelly Renfro's class, answers aren't given; they're discovered. Okay, so how can you do that? That approach makes it easier for Renfro to talk to her students, which opens the door to a unique connection. I have to be willing to look them in the eye and listen to them and not just talk to them about academic things, but find times in the day to also hear about things that are going on in their life and in their world. Students, they want to see you real as well. They, they want to know that we're human too, you know, and I think that when they know that we're human, when they see our hearts and they share their hearts with us, you know, then it just creates this learning environment where everyone feels safe. Everyone feels safe to make mistakes. We learn and we grow from each other. It just makes you feel like she cares about you. This is someone you should care about too. The way she pushes us isn't like, get your work done. It's more like, okay, you got the problem wrong. Try again. I know you can get it the next time. That ability to reach her students led to a fantastic award. Last April, Renfro was named Denton ISD Elementary Teacher of the Year. The award was great. So why don't y'all water the plants that we want, that we planted the other day? But Renfro is the type that is more comfortable getting her hands dirty in the school garden with her students. It's fun to be challenged, really, out there in the garden. Then taking credit for winning the district's highest award. Being Teacher of the Year is such an honor, but I am not anything without the community that I'm surrounded by. When we're all working together, you can't help but to have that energy. That energy makes what could be difficult STEM projects fun for her students. Wow, engineers, did you change your balloon in any way? But that's not Renfro's main motivation. She's thinking big picture, a picture with a frame that extends well beyond her classroom. I hope that they'll look back, you know, on fifth grade with fond memories and um, remembering um, that they were cared for here, that they'll, that they'll just carry on with, with their learning with their willingness to ask questions and stretch their thinking um, and and really we need them to do that because <laughs> we've got this great big world with with problems you know and we need we need these kids to come up with some great ideas and be willing to share those ideas and not hold back. Renfro is trying to make that happen one student and one conversation at a time.